Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jason, Charlie Echo 3, stroke in 5 in you. I'm back here at the park, Parque La Plaza Norte, Charlie Lima 0266, doing some antenna comparisons today. So I uh, can't wait to show you guys what I'm up to. It's a beautiful spring day here in Chile today. I've got two different antennas set up here and uh, I'll show you what I'm working with. I've got the uh, Performer, a quarter wave vertical with two elevated radials by Greg, KJ6ER set up over here. Got my station set up here in the middle and on the other side of it, I've got the Challenger, which is a half wave off center fed vertical also designed by Greg KJ6ER over here. Okay, so here's a little bit of a close up for the uh, performer of the SS17 whip by Chameleon with two elevated radials. They're about 90 degrees apart. Goes into a line choke, then the coax into the uh, antenna switch. And then over here, you can see uh, the Challenger, also uh, designed by Greg, off center fed half wave vertical. Whip here uh, goes into a uh, four to one un un, and then a line choke has a little counterpoise here, uh, four or five feet long, depending on the band, then back into the switch. And that's what I've been playing with here this evening. The Challenger, the Performer, Challenger, Challenger, Performer. Challenger, performer, challenger, the challenger, performer, performer, challenger, performer, challenger. Performer, Challenger, Performer, the Performer, Challenger, Performer, Challenger. All right, I'm gonna do one in like five second increments here. Here's the Performer. I want to give credit to Tim K5OHY for something that he did on his channel, testing out two different antennas side by side using Kiwi SDRs. Uh, I thought it was a great idea and decided to go ahead and try it for myself. So if you have not checked out his channel yet, please do so. Give him a sub. I'm sure that he'll be appreciative. I'll put the link down below. Challenger. Performer. Challenger. But you really can't distinguish between uh, the two antennas. The performer here. Challenger. Performer. Challenger. It's the Challenger. Performer. Challenger. Performer. Challenger here. Performer. Challenger. Performer. Here's the Challenger. Performer. Challenger. Performer. Challenger. Performer. Challenger. Performer. There's the performer. Challenger. Performer. Challenger. 
All right, I'm gonna try the same test with this SDR in South Louisiana on 17 meters. Here's the performer. Okay, so I wanna preface this by saying that this was only tested on 15 and 17 meters. So I wanna do comparisons on 10, 12, and 20 meters uh, at some point in the future. Uh, the Performer has long been one of my favorite antennas of all time. I've used it all over the U.S., in Costa Rica, here in Chile, and in Argentina. It has a very slight gain uh, if you have the um, elevated radials at uh, 90 degrees apart like this. It has a slight gain of, what, maybe a half a dB or something like that. And uh, with a peak radiation angle of 24 degrees. Uh, but I have ran into issues at some places getting the uh, radials uh, elevated. At times, you just cannot get a stake into the ground. Uh, I know here we went six months without any rain. It was just impossible to get a stake into the ground to elevate the radials. And there's not always a plant conveniently located to clip the radials onto. I have uh, less experience with the Challenger, to be honest. But the numbers on it are very... Uh, Similar, even slightly better. You have a little bit of uh, gain as well with the uh, peak radiation angle being at 21 degrees. Uh, the thing with the Challenger is that there are no radials to mess with. There are just counterpoises that are cut for each band, uh, but you'll need a longer whip if you want to get on 20 meters with it. Uh, the 17 foot whip by uh, Chameleon uh, will not suffice. You're going to need maybe an SS25 or something. Um, uh, of that nature. So uh, performance wise, uh, I did not believe that either one of the antennas was any better or any worse than the others on 15, um, 15 or uh, 17 meters on receive or transmit. The Challenger has the uh, smaller footprint, but it's not like the performer is, you know, a big monster or anything like that. You just have to worry about getting the, ele the, uh, the radials elevated on it. The only downside on the Challenger is that if you uh, forget your 4 to 1 un -un, uh and your line choke, you're kind of cooked on it. So that's just kind of my review on it. Uh, they're both great antennas, very, I would say, neck and neck uh, from my experiences here. So uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And 73, we'll see you on the next one.